as the Shakopee girls basketball team will play Roseville in the first round of the state tournament tomorrow. How they got there is quite the ride. Ren Clayton explains. The Sabres are on cloud nine. I'm still kind of in shock about that it went in. They triumphed in maybe the toughest section in the state, capped with a classic versus Eden Prairie. We kind of came out a little nervous. We were down by 10 early. It's a close game. I was tired. I think everyone else was tired, but I think we knew we just had to finish it through. Back and forth down the stretch led to one final chance. Game tied, Shakopee drew up a play. But it wasn't there. I'm passing the ball on NK goes, Jazz, just give it to me. I just thought, like, I'm going to have to shoot it. So I just kind of prepared myself, and my teammates trusted me with the ball. I'm making the shot. When she first hit, I was surprised, but that's what Kate does. She does what we need her to do. To some, reminiscent of one of the all time best Sabres' most special plays. Like deja vu, about eight, seven years ago, Taylor Coonan did the same thing. In a, in a semifinal uh, playoff game. It's always been like kind of a dream to be able to do that, and it's pretty cool that it's happened, especially with such a good team like we have. In sections, Shakopee beat the number two and three teams in Minnesota, and now they carry a 21 game winning streak into the state tournament. After that game, I think we know that we can compete. In Shakopee. I don't think our team really thinks we're done yet. I don't think we're done yet. Ren Clayton, WCCO for Sports. Roseville tomorrow, Williams Arena, but watch out for Hopkins. They have been off the charts this year. Yeah. It's always fun yeah. to watch.